Welcome back to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Show Mott. I was not on yesterday as I was celebrating my wife's birthday, so I was out of the cut from Saturday afternoon until now. Um, back in here, a lot of stuff happens. It seems like it, it, it never stops happening in um, the world of sports. and. Uh, some stuff how popped off on Saturday. We had Team USA. Hell, both Team USAs do not look great. But I'm going to talk about the Team USA that nearly, forget about nearly, absolutely and categorically embarrassed itself playing against South Sudan. The U.S. was able to come away with a 101-100 win as LeBron James hit a driving layup with eight seconds left. And Carly Jones from the South Sudan missed a wide-open seven-footer that he probably would make nine out of ten times. And then the putback, which looked like it would be a putback dunk, the rebounder hit the bottom of the rim, which caused him to lose the ball. But that was an absolutely atrocious performance by the United States. And it's really grown, growing tired. They just don't take shit seriously. And it makes them, unli- makes them unlikable. You have these other countries, they're playing as if their lives depend on it. And the U.S. plays like they're just showing up to L.A. Fitness. You're playing for your country. Your country, to these other people, matters more than anything. Unfortunately, in the United States, it doesn't seem to have that same meaning to players that play for the U.S. They look unprepared. They play with very little effort. They were a 43-point favorite. 43. They won by one. That's a loss. That's not a win. That's a loss. I'm not saying you got to beat everyone by 40. But God, dog, the South Sudan... The South Sudan, who you are going to play again in pool play on July 31st? I tell you right now, I don't know what to think about the U.S.'s chances of winning a gold medal. This team is beatable. Like, it's really beatable. And it's beatable because they don't know how to play together. It's beatable because it's a, it's a, it's, it's a me instead of we. They don't play a team concept, a team ball concept. They're soft as butter. But that's what's happened to the U.S. American basketball. The one thing that you never had to concern yourself about in the 90s was toughness. The U.S. was tough. The NBA was tough. Today's NBA is soft. And it shows in how these guys play. I have it off right now, but right now they're playing Germany. They're up seven at halftime. I don't care if Germany has a few NBA players. I don't care if Dennis Schroeder is the point guard for Germany. I don't care about Mo, Mo Wagner and Franz Wagner and Daniel Thies and all these, all these NBA players. These guys, realistically, they're journeyman NBA players. Mo, I'm, I'm sorry, Franz is going to be – which one is the younger one? Franz or Mo? What, the younger one. I think it's Franz Wagner. Franz is a good player. Franz is a pretty good, darn good player. He's a darn good player. But overall, these aren't stars. Franz Wagner's not a star. He's not a top 30 guy in the NBA. Schroeder's not a top 30 guy. Mo Wagner's not a top 30 guy. Daniel Thies is a role player. These are like role. These are role players. Yet they're only down seven at halftime. Now, it could obviously change. But, my God, when you – like, there's no sense of – urgency with the with team usa 
these men don't take this stuff seriously. They 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 like it, but they're not. They 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 rely on their talent and not enough on playing together. You're too damn talented to look like this, but you're soft. You get punked. Carlique Jones was the 2023 G League Player of the Year. If he's not on a roster next year, I'd be shocked. I'd be absolutely shocked if he's not on a roster in the NBA. Because he had a triple-double against Team USA. 15, 11, and 11. And if he had 17, South Sudan would have won that game. Because that shot he had, I thought, was for sure an easy shot for him. And he missed it. And he, he just put too much on it. But it was Anthony Davis flew a little late. But that wasn't Anthony. That, that was he just missed. But I don't want to. I, I, this is embarrassing. Like this, 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 this program, the United States of America, as a basketball power. You know what? It, it, it lends credence to what Noel Lyles said a, few, a couple of years ago. He says, world champions best in the world like you have to now start to question if the nba nba is the best in the world is it really i don't know anymore i don't know i i I mean i would like to think but you just had a one point game versus south sudan with arguably 11 of the top 20 players top 25 players in the nba on your team and there's not a top 25 there's not a top 50 player playing for South Sudan. I, I, come on, man. I, I, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, there's guys that play in the NBA and play college basketball. Like, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? Like, this is, this is becoming a joke when, when Team USA walks on the floor. And the shot that LeBron James made, I mean, my God, that was as bad a defense as could be played on that last possession in that game because he played him right to the rim. He gave him a beeline to the rim. Uh, yeah, that, that was a very bad dis- defensive play by South Sudan. You got to force him to the, to the help, not force him away from the help, and then he has a beeline to the rim. But nonetheless, it shouldn't come down to this. This should not, it should not come down to this. They look like trash. I'm not saying that I went by 40, but God darn, you should be beating South Sudan by 20 with ease. The United States of America has a lot of work to do, and I hope they can figure it out quickly because they're going to run into some matchups that next time will not end so well for them. Because, yeah, they play South Sudan on July 31st in group play. One thing you can tell you right now is South Sudan has confidence. Now, of course, you could come back and say they played the best game they could possibly play and they lost. But at the same time, you have to give them credit for what they did. Does that mean I expect them to beat U.S. when they play them? No, I don't. I think that, I mean, I would expect the U.S. to play better and win by 20 or more, but. What does this do to your confidence? I mean, what is, I don't know what this does to confidence for this team, but this team right now does not look good. They do not look good. They're up seven against Germany. I, I mean, this the th- and and the reason this is happening is, is we're just soft. It's a soft organ. We're a soft organization, headed by players who are playing in a soft league. European basketball has become tougher than American basketball. They're more physical. The more you remove the physicality from the from the NBA, the more you make it in line with the you, the way, the more you bring our talent down, and it evens out because they're physical, but they're not as talented. But we're more talented, but we're just not physical, and that crap starts to eat, you're not even out when you're getting popped over and over again, and you don't know what to do with it. These guys don't know what physicality is anymore in the NBA. They get bumped, they cry. This shit was embarrassing. And they better get it together. I, I'd like to say, I, I, honestly, I don't know why Steve Kerr is still coaching this team. I don't know why he's still coaching this team. 
Because the brand of basketball that's going to win is not this soft ass shit. You need a heat culture type of attitude. You need Spolstra coaching this team. Where their practices are actually like practices to get you better, not practices to keep you. I don't want to see guys shooting 28 foot jump shots. Like, I just don't want to see it. You need to physically abuse these people. If you, I mean, because if you let them be more physical than you, then you're gonna, that's where we're going to have problems as a country. And it's, and it's been seen. It's, it's being seen. We should, be able, we should be able to put out our any 10 players from the top 100 in the U.S. and win these tournaments. But we don't because we're soft. And we're mentally weak. As a league, as a country now, that we look like this shit against the South Sudan. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think of that performance? What do you think of the team's prognosis? You know, of, of pro, you know, possibilities of winning a gold. I mean, I think they're going to win gold, but I, I think that's going to be a lot harder than they think. If they don't start, if they don't get their mind right, it, it may not end the way they want. So let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and share us with all your friends. We appreciate you. Come on now.